Have you tried to verify a site on Google Search Console and were shown the ownership verification failed message? Don't worry, that can happen and it is easy to fix as I am about to show you. First, what does the error mean? Seeing ownership verification failed is the same as trying to open a safe but using the wrong tools. In this scenario, Google is telling you it needs the right key to verify you are the website owner. Google shows this error because they want to keep the website data private and only available to legitimate users. After all, Google Search Console shows clicks, impression and a lot more data about the website, which you do not want everyone to get access to. That's why when Google cannot verify that you are a site owner, you are going to see the ownership verification failed error. Hey, if you're enjoying this video, please consider subscribing. Our goal at SEO testing is to save you time so you spend less time pulling data into Excel and more time thinking about how to get more traffic from Google. Now, back to the video. Now let's focus on fixing the ownership verification failed error. First and foremost, make sure you are logging into Google Search Console using the correct Google account. This is especially important if you have several email accounts. For example, if you use your personal and work email in the same browser, it will be recommended to verify the site with a professional email if it isn't a personal site. The second step is checking if the website server is having issues. When there are problems, it will not just impact people trying to access the website, it will also affect Google Search Console when trying to verify it. If the site is OK and online, it's time for the most important part, restarting the verification process in Google Search Console. There are a number of ways to verify your site ownership, like with an HTML file, verification via Google Analytics, and a DNS record. Now go to Google Search Console, press the Site Selector menu, then Add Property and enter your website name. When selecting the property type, it's more common and recommended to use the domain property as it gathers data about all the subdomains. This method will require a DNS verification and to complete it, you need to copy the text Google Search Console shows. Then add the DNS record on the service you used to buy the domain. This can be Namecheap, GoDaddy, Cloudflare or another service. Simply save the record, come back to Google Search Console and press Verify. If you don't get the validation immediately, please wait a couple of hours for the DNS record to settle in before trying to verify the site again. When you manage to complete the verification, your Google Search Console dashboard should start showing data for the site in about a day, if the site is indexed and getting clicks from Google. Now, if you want to make the most out of your Google Search Console data, use SEO testing to set up SEO tests and know what changes to your site increase traffic. We have a 14-day free trial for you to test it. Sign up using the link in the description. Thanks for watching.